Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gents, <laughs> and uh, welcome again to the old covert spot. And literally, ladies and gents, you've just seen me put the cam on, and all I've got is a helicopter. So I'll bring you back in a few moments. Right, after we've uh, this route. Wood goes, this is, this yeah. is going to the friars with us. Yeah. He's, uh, after being rudely interrupted by the helicopter. Yeah, it's um, oh, the Tuesday after the bank holiday. Got Tay today and Wednesday off, and Mrs. Uh, Tightwad's got me up, booked up for a number of things on Wednesday. One which is being cut in the grass, and it's fair enough, it does need doing. And uh, had a shout out to everybody, but you know, it's uh, back to work after the old bank holiday, so uh, Marty's here and uh, Mr. Baldrick, we got ever so excited. Baldrick, stop eating that grass. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Look at me, little nutter. He loves it out here. Uh, yeah, just a little chill day. <sighs> He's a noisy bugger, isn't he? <laughs> um, and uh, I've got a couple of, uh, couple of bits of kit I want to sort out. Baldrick, you like those, don't you? Oh, yes, Dad. Baldrick, oh, yes, Dad. Where's my Scooby Snacks? I've got chocolate chip cookies. Oh, very nice, Dad. Yeah, um, just primarily a chill day, um, and I want to uh, have a little play about with uh, a couple of bits of kit. One's a tent, one's a tarp. I don't need it a tarp, but I just that Reuben's tarp, mate. We got it for thirty quid in the end. It's there, What's that, mate? the Reuben's tarp. Remember oh, off the yeah. guy at the bottom there? Yeah, yeah David, give him a hammer in, and <laughs> we've got it for. You, you can't knock it, you know. Uh, I just really took a shine to that, mate. Don't weigh nothing. It's got heavy temp, you know, the heavy temp pegs in it, like you know, yeah. the ones that standard temp pegs. Oh, uh, are you get it out? oh yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea, mate. I've got my posh coffee with me. Got a few <laughs> things to show, all, won't we? Yeah, yeah. Because what uh, we do? You're rocking the safari look today, mate. And strangely enough, so am I. Because it's just too hot for, too hot for anything else. Shorts on Eddie, though. No, mate, not with my knees. No, no, <laughs> no, no. And it's a bit thorny coming in here because I mean you've got a couple of little scratches there and that. Uh, yeah, already. Yeah, no, but that's just the way it is. That's why I say, uh, Baldrick, he loves it, but Bridget could be like, you know, she's a, a, a box of princess. She'd be like, oh, I don't like it, Mrs. Sox. I want to go home. And keeping an eye on two dogs is uh, too much. What is he, Baldrick? What's that? What's that? Go get it. Go get it. But anyway, yeah, um, first order. We've the scout law, haven't we? What's that then, mate? Pen knife and string. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, the, the green string. Oh, and I, I, I've got some string in there, mate, just to... Um, because when it's, once it beds in, you've just got to put a few more. What I was going to do is going to get two long ones and bang some spikes in over the back. Yeah. That just stabilises it a bit more. Yeah. But again, it, it's just like, it's like it, it's, when we used hemp rope on it, mate, it just needs tightening up and a little yeah. bit of ticking. Because the old two benches are going strong, mate. Yeah. I can't believe my one's still solid, is, but that's my first ever one. That one there. I've just had my fat ass on that and it's all hunky dory. And you jumped a minute, like, didn't you, Mr. Baldrick? Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> Right, Baldrick, if you need to make a poo, you just need to go and do a poo patrol, all right? Remember we talked about that last time? Oh, yes, did. And get some water, mate. I don't want you dehydrated. Um, very new pack, which I'm... Very guns of never own type, you know? And that's a, a new little pack. Wilderness gathering. Oh, bring a buy sale. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still getting a semi on with it now, some of the gear that we got. And are you okay, Mr. Baldrick? Every time I point the cam uh, every time I point the camera at him, well don't eat bark off the wood then. And he's got his water there. That's per usual. Dogs get watered before I do. Uh, on that mate, yeah, I'm gonna shut sh shut my face and get a coffee on. Because I've like got posh coffee in the woods. Ladies and gents, yeah, um, me uh, coffee press. I know it's a bit posh for the old tight wood, but uh, truly impressive bit of kit. Uh, not a lot of dosh to get it, and uh, yeah, I am uh, quite partial to a bit of co posh coffee. So this is how I'm carrying it about. It's rocking, the whole thing's inside there. There's the little titanium um, 
spirit burner fits in there very nicely uh, and there's the spirit you know carrier there I'll probably put a couple of chassis of coffee in there or milk light but um, yeah it all fits in there very very nicely don't intend adding any more pouches to it and that just gonna keep that like it is so it's a one complete uh, posh coffee system cost, um, cost of coffee eat your heart out <laughs> but all you've got to do mate is have like 20 coffees out of this and if you're buying Costa coffees, you pay for the fucking thing, mate. Yeah? Oh, yeah. For 260, just unreal cup of coffee. And it's only filter coffee, it's not like Choco Doco Moco or whatever. And they, I mean, when I go in, when I want a cup of coffee, I don't want a bloody menu. Anyway, ladies and gents. Yeah. Um, but uh, in, yeah, that's posh. But yeah, that's how it all goes in there. Fits in there very nicely. Not too tight, absolutely spot on. But uh, I'm really rocking that. Never used it. It's like the old Max Expedition one, isn't it? Uh, well, when I've got my jet boiling. Yeah. Oh, that's a smaller one. Yeah. Yeah, but that's just. But it fits in. I think that was like the, the old patch was under a tenner, mate. And for, for my purposes, it's robust enough. Um, sometimes a little bit. No, just as you're talking about, there's a little bit of fold there. The uh, zip gets a little bit caught. But if necessary, I'll just do something about that. But yeah, uh, it's not max expedition, mate, because I, I wouldn't pay their prices uh, unless I won a lot of records. But they make nice kit. I'm not knocking it, but it's just expensive, mate. And uh, just for the purposes of today, I'm uh, using gas for my brew because cookies. cookies and chocolate chip cookies. I'm just going to move this <laughs> just to cut the seat, yeah. just to put it on here. Yeah. I wonder if it'll go on here. You heard the cookie wrapper, didn't you? <laughs> Said, oh, I can smell the cookies then. Who's got the cookies? Come on, own up. Who's got the cookies? <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll get it back, so I need, I need coffee. Right, excuse the uh, handheld, ladies and gents, because uh, I didn't bring a tripod. But yeah, been after a uh, posh coffee maker. Uh, when we was in uh, Jake's place, you, you got your big uh, cowboy pot, mate, didn't you? Come out with some nice coffee. That do like a nice strong coffee. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but for me, I've got to be able to carry stuff. And uh, very a name I'm, I'm, I'm starting to rock with is uh, obviously Stanley. Now the first thing that attracted me, standalone, okay, nice big pot. Okay, it's just like the uh, the Stanley pot uh, cup, you know, like that comes in. You've got the three green containers in it. it does have a lid, we'll see. And I've had this on a fire, and uh, as you can see, it's uh, had its baptism of fire. Uh, so, ladies and gents, yeah, that's something I was after there anyway. Uh, a bigger Stanley pot, and uh, again, if you want to just use that on its own, you know, water bottle drops straight in there, no problems whatsoever. Um, Again, I will, if I'm going to use it that way, fashion the metal lid, which is easy enough, but uh, that's been on there, uh, gas and uh, fire, and hasn't sort of burnt the lid anyway. Um, but on that, what we go is uh, a uh, coffee, coffee press. It's a lovely tight fit, like a virgin's fanny that is. Oh, yes, oh yes, missus. And ladies and gents, it's a little bit tight, so I'll get it out of there. Um, this is what really, you know, when I got it, and we're talking 27 quid, so it's not beyond the, the realms of possibility. But yeah, lid, coffee press, and uh, you know, um, big old, big old uh, pot there that you can use it standalone if that makes. So you get two for one special offer on this. Um, but what really gave me a boner is this, and I need two hands to get it out, so I'll show you. And as you know, uh, to the annoyance of my missus, that was a little. I, I was going to make a billy can out of this. I don't know, probably like somewhere from a uh, charity shop or a second hand shop, it was new, uh, it's a little coffee pot, and as you can see that's my posh cowboy coffee, um, considerable amount has been used at the old wilderness gathering, do need to fill that up, but like I say it's got a huge capacity on it, that fits on there, nice and tight, no worries about that coming off, uh, like I say I was going to do a little um, conversion job on that for, um, you know, a, a wire hanger and that, and a little billy cam, but ladies and gents, and you know me, I've got like the... Uh, Chinese, uh, sorry, Russian doll fetish, everything fits into each other, and I knew I had this in the house, and I eventually found it, and just watch, this is where I really got a boner, serious, watch, I pushed it down, how about that, now that's just for me, it's just like really pucker pucker, but yeah, it cost me 27 quid off Amazon, a um, couple of reviews I've seen, not many as it goes, um, on, uh, YouTube, I always do that before, I'm sure you do before you buy something, but I am just proper 100% rocking this because it's uh, handles fold in. Like I say, I've got a standalone big pot, 
and uh, a coffee press all in one and as we've seen inside boom because <laughs> either I want a water bottle to go in there so you carry in water but that is absolutely as they say in the trade spot on so I'll shut my cake over now and get a brew on and ladies and gentlemen yeah just for convenience today uh, and you've got to keep using kit I've got my uh, my uh, very favoured little uh, gas stove now all pushes in with these all these all pop out very solid don't weigh a great deal um, that just proper heats up and uh, that's my uh, gas stove of choice now comes in a little bag and drops at the bottom of uh, you know like a side pouch no danger Mr Baldrick killing some things what are you doing Baldrick what are you doing <laughs> Baldrick's on a food patrol <laughs> <laughs> Martin's got a cracking little system now. I'll, I'll, I'm definitely going to get that on film in a sec. But yeah, let's get some. Uh... Once that settles down, lovely little, uh, lovely little gas stove there. Quite robust, nothing to go wrong, nothing to break on it, and it all just folds down. None, none I don't know if you can see it in there ladies and gents, there is a, a maximum fill line there, I, 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 obviously I've got to use it so that just gives me a proper full cup of coffee and then a little fill up on that as well so I, I know what it is but there is a, a fill up there line which is uh, quite nice of them. i say just on its own I'd have bought the pot because it's a standalone big pot and like I say uh, Stanley quite rocking this company at the moment, they're, they're coming out with some good reasonably priced gear i.e. Uh, we're not talking we're not talking Pathfinder prices nothing wrong with Pathfinder kit, it is good and I've got some of it but it, it can come up because it comes from America, it comes up a little bit expensive at times as you see ladies and gents, yeah, just bring you back there uh, my initial thought was um, it is hot there but the old uh, lid's not suffered any damage whatsoever like I said I've used it like four days non-stop at the old wilderness gathering uh, but, it's not going to be too hard for me uh, when I'm just using it as a pot to so rig up a little lid for that, which is something I'll do, but as it is, um, spot on. And like I say, uh, there's the press, and I'll tell you what, what's nice, see around the bottom there, um, it's got a really robust, and it's like silicone rather than rubber, uh, seal. But yeah, as I said, I've got a proper little bug when my coffee fitted in there. <laughs> probably got like this fetish for the Chinese doll, everything's got a fit into everything. But yeah, as we see that little kettle there, uh, my uh, gas stove, kind of, it's almost like it's got an afterburner or a reheat on it, and it boils up fast speed. Yeah, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll shut up now and uh, get the And now, as I say, uh, from the old coffee pot, yes, get some of that in there. sit for a minute, put the old top on because it's uh, keep that warm and then all I'm going to do is push the pressure in. I'm not going to show you how to uh, suck eggs but it's so intense. I'm proper rocking this at the moment. Uh, I can't see many places I'm going without this because I uh, I do love a nice bit of filter coffee there and that's just not a special brand, uh, just various uh, various blends I've got in there at the moment, it's called Chuck It In. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to come over there and give that Ridge Monkey thing a good old uh, going over at the moment mate, that's a nice bit of kit and you've already done some mods on it, haven't you? Yeah. Nice one mate. And a proper... And bits and bits of comfort. Yeah, um, and a proper carrying bag mate, which is quite for the whole kit. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That's just a little teaser to make people keep watching. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gents, uh, um, another little, uh, I've got a lot of these type of uh, cups, but never been truly happy with them. You know, like the ammunition type ones, the uh, Highlander ones, and I always find they leak slightly. Uh, but saw this at the old uh, wilderness gathering, 
with a guy who was doing some very nice kit, mate, wasn't he? You know, like oh, yeah. that one at the bottom, yeah, yeah. And, uh, we all had a quite a little deals here and there, didn't we? Yeah. Really what we wanted. Yeah, do you know the, the guy that was selling all the Stanley stuff and all that down that day we got the old uh, yeah. big sleeping bag off? Sleeping I, I, bag. I got that Rubens tent, because, like, um, and he, he, well, his prices were price, price to shift, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I obliged the man, and uh, I got this for ten pound. Uh, it's a Stanley uh, insulated cup. And it's got a really nice, robust thread on it. Uh, the handle has got a hook on it if you needed it, and again, lovely seal on that. Proper silicone, none of this rubber stuff. Um, and I'll, I'll do the lid up, but literally smooth as you'd like. It's half later, yeah? or just, just uh, I'm beginning to really like get into the Stanley kit, mate. I'll say it's a good kit uh, at reasonable prices. And uh, as I say, when you want a drink, there you go, that's a nice little seal there as well. I had that uh, in a little pouch, and I used to make one up the top and then just carry it around and yeah. soak from it all day, mate. So it does keep it long enough, no problems with that whatsoever. Um, and also a little bit of flash, but I'll tell you what, I didn't realise what it was. It's actually got a lid lock there as well. Uh, and I don't know how much they retail for because that guy he was selling stuff. At, uh, and if you bought a few bits, uh, you know, I know David got some like, results of him. But £10 for a cup, ladies and gents, I'm, this is my go to cup now. I uh, wouldn't have anything else. And I will be using it at other times, not just for bushcrafting. But yeah, that is solid, going nowhere, you know. Um, that folds down out of the way and don't take up no more room than you know one of the normal I call them Highlander uh, you know the little screw top ones but yeah I'm proper rocking that at the moment that's my go-to fill cup from now on ten pound got to be done in there and it's just about enough to half fill that again. Rather than get a drop of posh milk in there and uh, get that down my, my little bag out. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is a very rare moment. Here we see the uh, the Baldrick moment. I'm moving the camera. The only time you'll get Mr. Baldrick. Eh? My little monkey dog, your little monkey dog, aren't you? A little monkey dog, who's dumping the bow on you? The only way you can get him to, and he's sat to a sit. Okay, lie down or do. Get him to stand still with that man. <laughs> is this magic? And the magic is called, not abracadabra, it's called cookies. Want a little cookie? Want a little cookie, mister? that occasionally we do do something remotely bushcrafty. Make the spoon there mate, yeah? Yeah. Here comes my my aeroplane on cue. <laughs> I'm going to get a shotgun and start shooting them down like a well, GPMG. Nice blind down. Yeah. Twats. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We see a rare, a rare species, a rare species in its natural element being used as, <laughs> as, the, as the maker designed. The insignia needs no introduction. World renowned across the globe. Here we see it in its most natural <laughs> environment. In bushcrafting. I'm going to seriously <laughs> go with the airfield. Like, I'm going to do an <laughs> SAS raid on it, <laughs> like Pebble Island, and just take out all the aircraft the night before we next come over. I'm serious, mate. <laughs> they taught me how to disable an aircraft quickly in the army when it's on the ground. I'm not too sure what wood this is. No, like Hang I say, on. mate, um, joking aside, every time I hit the prep, he's right, mate. Every time I'm hitting the, the record button, one takes <laughs> off, doesn't it? It's gonna, I'm going to do like you know, Pebble Island raid on it, and as you say there... To, we'll have to have one uh, CB radio, yeah. <laughs> so we can say when they're taken off. 
Well, I'll just go over there the night before, mate. You know, I, I, I'm like proper army, you know what I mean? Just get it done, you know what I mean? No mucking about, kiss, keep it simple, keep it stupid. I'll go over there with my jack law and I'll stab every tyre so nothing is taken off the next day. We, <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Careful, careful what you put on film, mate, that, you know, in case it's used in evidence against you later on. No, but seriously, it's annoying, isn't it? But, hey ho, it's a lovely spot when there's no aircraft. And, uh, yeah, a rare beast in its most natural environment, uh, a jack law doing exactly what they would be best. proud of them. Shame. Oh yeah, no, I mean yeah, I mean you're not meaning to deep this, but that's this just. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh well, no, but I mean it's a spoon, but yeah. Because all that, mate, is going in my little pie kit. I never. Yeah. Never walk by a bit of a nice little bit of wood there. Not sure what the wood is though, are we? I'm not sure actually. No. What it is? Coming along nicely. But anyway, ladies and gents, as I said, they're rare beasts in its most natural environment. <laughs> Jack Law, and obviously, mate, the reason I've put the old camera on first, um, you've uh, had somebody do yet a bespoke um, sheath for your Jack Law, haven't you? You've got the original as well. Um, yes, that was um, done by Bravo. Bravo, yeah. he was, um, well, I say he was, he still is, um, one of the crew from Baza. Baza, yeah. Don't see much of him now, mate, do we? No, 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 he's, no. He's, he's still there, but I yeah. think obviously. I used to love his changed. accent and that. A uh, bloke in the army kind of exactly, well, must have come from the same time. You know, accents and all that, yeah. Fort North and all that. But, uh, but he's done a beautiful job on that, mate. That's proper. I'm loving all this, the lattice work, I think it's called. I think it's basically, if you look at um, Jack Law ones now, they're oh, basically yeah. the same design. Yeah. That only elaborated a bit more. Yeah. Because you like your kit just so, mate, don't you? Yeah. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful receptacle <laughs> for your stabber, sir. And there we are, Bribo uh, lever. And I think he obviously um, put that on there because that's actually just needs no introduction. Yeah, that was his, uh, I think he well, before the original stamps that um, Jack Law did. Yeah. Or sand. But look, that's just like proper, proper quality. And I think Sand, Sandy would be quite chuffed that um, yeah, I think, uh, he's I think worked there was so only, too. I don't think there was only half a dozen made actually with that um, la um, lattice work. Lattice yeah. work. Yeah. That's nice. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. time. Yeah. Now, no. To be truthful, that wasn't wet dry, that wasn't wet formed at the time. I'm, I'm sure that that was just made out of one that he had originally. No, but it's still um, as if it was wet form, really. I suppose yeah. I could have soaked it, but I never did. No. But that's just really nice, mate, isn't it? So I had to get that on cam. Yeah. And anyway, it's, it's not because when I turn the cam off, we've done that. Um, I'm going to do like a, 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 a sass raid on that airfield, mate. Stab all the tyres. Just keep it simple. Don't need to be blown up shit. You don't need to do that, mate. Just stab all the tyres in that way. They won't take off. But yeah, I've got a new little tent down there I'm going to play with. There is Mr. Baldrick. Quite not unusual not to see him doing a hundred miles an hour. Body, what's that? Is that cats? Cats? What's that? Scooby snacks. Not anyway. Ooh, because they're doing bumps and circuits, aren't they? Landing and taking off. I think they know your film. They do, mate. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a raid on it the next time. The, the night before, mate. Proper. You know, get your old boot polish on the face and all that. You know, <laughs> your little commando hat on. <laughs> What is a uh, getting that doing and that's the uh and five of the knife, mate. Sorry, yeah. Don't come in nowhere near it. Just roughing them out, mate, aren't you? Yeah, just roughing them out so I can use the smaller tools for Yeah, nice one mate. It's all done though, isn't it? Yeah, nice little um salad. Nice to see somebody using a jack law mate, because you know Yeah. I think some people put them in the cupboard and sniff the lever occasionally. You can do finer things, but yeah. I... No, 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 that's exactly what they're there for, mate, and uh, there's nothing wrong with sniffing Jack Law, never. <laughs> it's got <laughs> <a> particular tinge. <laughs> but you've got to use the bloody things, because they're indestructible, mate, mate. And there's Mr Baldrick. And I'm going to talk about this in a minute. Right, ladies and gents. <clears throat> we did some filming for Marty on this. This is a new... Uh, Ridge Monkey double cooker. Just get a little bit of smell-o-vision on that, sir. Oh, yeah. 
uh, you've already done your water. Uh, lovely bit of kit, mate. Hopefully you'll be able to send me that bit of film when I'll take it onto this, mate. But you're, you're very rocking with that, ain't you? You're yeah. quite happy with that. I love the little mod you've done for the handle, mate. <laughs> I don't expect no less of you and take that as a compliment, but that's the dog's what's it. You need to get in touch with them and say this is what you need to do. Yeah. But we've done a little film Just on that, Just to mate. give it a bit more st stability. Okay. Yeah, no, it's proper on the spot, mate. Uh, sir, your inventiveness impresses a lot of people, as you know. And, uh, oh, yes. We all have a little hurt. We do, mate, we do. But here we go. I don't know where that works. That little there. shelter. First time I've had it up. I've had it up. Oh, good couple of three weeks now, but just with work and that, getting over is hard to, I mean, hopefully Bald will give me a little bit of scale. But yeah, that's proper rocking. Loving that. And uh, I think DD Tarp, only cheaper. And DD Tarp, little rip <laughs> in the high winds. And you see Mr. Baldwin, just uh, rare moments of, He's having a bit of a rest, mate, isn't you? Because when you calm down a bit, I'll give you your Scooby snacks. But when he saw me packing my kit up, he was just like proper on it today, doing his back flick, chasing his tail. Strange dog, Baldrick. It's not unusual for a dog to bite, chase his tail, but when you catch it and bite it, that's unusual, all right? But yeah, um, I will do a little bit more film with this. There's uh, Marty's uh, Ridge Monkey double burner, which again, he's, he's already done some uh, proper mods on that. Very nice. Bloody planes.